Hi, welcome to Today in Tokyo. I suppose I should rename this series of videos Today in My Mind because it doesn't really have much to do with Tokyo often. Well, no, actually it does, but it's usually very superficial. The more important things, if I can call them that, that I think about happen inside my mind. And they have nothing to do with Tokyo per se, or Japan. Maybe I should spend some time thinking about how to keep my hair from making me look ridiculous. I was listening to a very interesting podcast today, which I've been listening to in parts for the better part of a week. Sam Harris is highlighting the authors of a book on AI. And um, some of the people he spoke to were more or less annoying. Others were more or less to the point about very prescient issues. But they were all interesting in their own right. Of course, the minds with whom he spoke, which were the most interesting, were the ones who aligned themselves as he does. The things I agree with, Elon Musk, Stephen Hawking, uh, Steve Wozniak, and others, you know, people who say, we're really heading down a dangerous road if we don't start regulating AI before it's on top of us. And the only reason that we're not is there are two camps of people who uh, more or less don't think it's important. One camp is the people who, as Sam says, drank the Kool-Aid and they're building the AI and they want to assure everything is going to be okay. You know, it's like the people in the automotive industry, the oil industry, and the tobacco industry. Of course, they're going to tell you everything's going to be okay. Meanwhile, you get cancer and you've destroyed the environment on the only planet that you live. Uh, and the other camp is more or less the rest of us who don't really know what is at stake. They don't really know what Google is. They don't know what DeepMind is. They don't understand how intelligent these things already are. And that it's only a matter of time before conscious or not is, is not the issue in my view. And I've tweeted that to Sam Harris. It doesn't matter if the AI of the near future passes the Turing test and fools people into thinking that it's human or not. I don't care about that. What I care about is that it is going to be thinking for itself and it is going to be making decisions for you and me. If you don't think that's true already, go to the doctor and ask him who is interpreting your x-rays and your CAT scans. It isn't just the doctors. Go to your lawyer and find out who's doing the paralegal work. 30% of it is done by machines now because machines are better at it. And that's a good thing. But what I really came in here to talk about today were a few things that were inspired by my deep contemplation of what was being talked about on Sam Harris's podcast. Nations. We divided up the world. Are we going to do that on other planets? Space treaties say that we can't do that. But how long will it be before we have an installation on another planet, say Mars, and we're telling people you can't cross over this line? Along that line of thinking, are we going to bring our guns? And along that line of thinking, if you can make the connection that I make, are we going to bring our religions? See, I don't think we're really ready for other planets. We haven't discovered the idea en masse that there should be no such thing as countries. It's completely preposterous that people spend their entire lives inside of a fence called a country. That they don't know what's outside that fence. And that to go outside that fence and to go to another fenced-in area, they have to get endless amounts of paper and money and baggage and you know restrictions on their freedoms this is all part of the behavior of the human race along a trajectory of maturity we haven't fully matured and we're ready to colonize other worlds well i guess the only thing that we have going for us is that there probably will be nobody on those other worlds to tell us that we can't do that except one another thanks see you in tokyo